I hate cold and I hate wet, but something really primal inside said, do this race. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Weird, we've been talking about this. Life is, it feels like life is gonna change because how can you do this and go back to normal? Yeah. Because it's been such an intense week. Experience. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, I think there's first and foremost how we get there. So we know there's gonna be the usual bog road, <laughs> heather, oh, uh, intense. rivers to cross, you know. And I think what I'm realizing now is that uh, Nobody really puts any thought into this is this is going to be a hard challenge. It's really, really insanely difficult, and uh, I don't think I'll ever do anything this hard again. Uh, I am not about firsts or records or anything like that. I am about just taking part, and I want to see if I can push myself, if I can learn something new about what I'm capable of, and uh, there's no better place to do that than than Scotland. So my name's Shane Oley. I'm the race director of the Cape Wrath Ultra. We're in the Nevis Centre in Fort William registration the day before the race starts. And tell us a little bit about the race. So after kind of resurrecting the Dragon's Back race, I really wanted to create another expedition race in the UK. And naturally you look to Scotland for a kind of comparable challenge. And I was thinking and I was reading and I was looking at maps and I was pondering and pondering and then all of a sudden I discover the Cape Wrath Trail. And it was, again, it's one of those light bulb moments. You think, this is probably what I'm looking for. And very soon after that, I walked the entire route with my wife, Heather. We had a fantastic two weeks. Um, and by the end of that, I was convinced we had, we had the right kind of concept. I'm a bit nervous, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> um, but it's another two hours until we start, so I guess, uh, I don't know. I've got, I feel okay about the first day, I think I'll finish the first day, but it's, I can't think about the next day until I finish this day, if that makes sense. This is the short one and it's like just short of a marathon, so. I'm going to run 400 kilometers in Scotland, in the Highland, yeah. Oh, I feel beautiful. Um, I had to let those guys go ahead. Because <laughs> they are machines. What a beautiful, inspiring place to be running. Amazing. I've seen all the Harry Potter movies, so I want to take pictures for my kids. Yes. <laughs> Tougher than I thought, in fact. I wasn't prepared for so much wetness. So we're coming out and turning left. No, no, no. Cheers. How was your day today? Um, it got a bit interesting after lunch time, didn't it? Much more fun. I was having a miserable time till lunch, but after that, yeah, it was really nice. Really enjoyed it up there. Beautiful views. Yeah. So we're starting here. Yeah. After checkpoint one, it gets very remote, of course. Yeah. So it would take us 10 or 12 hours to carry out a rescue. Okay, that's true. So just be confident before you leave here that you're feeling good. So we have a, we have a letter from the woman in tent four to the men in tent three, to the partner, to the partner beside the guy that snores. Could you please smack him or roll him over, please? Oh, <laughs> yeah.
the day before last. Feeling good? Uh, yes, feeling good. Long stretch today again, but uh, well, feeling uh, quite all right. And happy to go again because the sun is getting out, it's dry. Stop! So, what can happen? You never know. The end is near. <coughs> <coughs> we'll get there one step at a time. Oh, it's the challenges and the, the body get the challenge, so you need to overcome your, your brain uh, because your body can actually do it, but it's more the challenge that you fight in your brain uh, to say, no, it's painful and you can't do it. And, and then when you get uh, the first five kilometers on tired legs and you sort of get used to this and the, the pain go away and then you just visit another version of yourself out there, yeah. Oh, it's a struggle, yeah, yeah. Keep it going. What more can you do? <laughs> it was a tough day. Hard day. Got lost a couple of times. Welcome back. Amazing effort. Can I get your tracking? Yeah, right. your... Need to carry quite a lot of food for a day like that. And um, make sure you eat it. <laughs> so, other than that, it was alright. You won't be starting tomorrow. But just so kind of have a bit more of a relaxed morning that we'll transport you out here. And if you want to just get transported to the next overnight camp, you can do that. It's kind of absolutely your call where you where you go from there. But I've yeah. had a leg a bit anyway, so you hurt your leg a bit. Make make a decision in the morning, yeah. you know, everything's different with a, a on a new day. Right. How's that doing? It's beautiful. Amazing day, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I did swear and cuss a little bit on that down scent. Not quite an I... easy day that a lot of people will be thinking, I don't think. No. I thought too many people were bounding around this. Oh, it's yeah. going to be easy today. Driving vans in the mud, it's not what I signed up for. <laughs> Some people love 4x4s and mud vehicles, I do not. Are you pleased with that guy? Thank you. How's that Jim? Oh, another tough day. So about comradeship, man. Like, like yesterday, I was wasted, but my friends in my tent, they uh, took me to the washing place to wash me, and they at least put my sleeping bag well, and never get it. Sometimes very hard, and people help me, and, uh, and keeping up the good pace with, with other people was also very hard. So it is really, yes, something about comradeship as well. Well done, Lannister. Well done, mate. Well done. You alright? Well done, mate. It's been a long day. I've never seen so many wrecked people on the trail. I think I'm one of them. Okay, stop running, stop running. Cut off is, this is now a cut off yeah, point. This is the best I've been feeling in like three days. Sorry. I'm sure I can make the next one. So I think I did.
rough one, <laughs> wet and cold, got lost quite a few times, a lot of extra miles, and energy expended. A long day? A very long day. Ah, glad I made it though. Happy to be able to participate tomorrow. You, you, you see things you otherwise won't see you, because you're in the middle of it. You're, you're basically, like they say, hitting the ground. So you're hitting the ground, you're seeing, you're feeling the weather, uh, the water, the cold, the warmth. You, you really feel it on your skin and you feel it also with, with other people. People having a bit the same spirit, a bit the same mind as, as you. It's, it's not reality, you're in a bubble for, for a few days, but it's a nice bubble. It's, it's, people ask me often, this is not holidays, why are you doing it? But yes, it is. Physically, it is, it is hard, but mentally it is not hard at all. I'm so glad it rained because it was authentic. Okay. And now I've heard about these legendary chips. <laughs> Where are the chips? <laughs> Very rough terrain, but absolutely the most stunning scenery of the whole trip so far. I think I'm going to say that every day, but it was amazing. Oh yeah, <laughs> loving it. <laughs> no, it's good, it's really good. The early days is stunning and he just seems to get more and more. How was it? <laughs> Excellent. My motivator now is just to get her done. Let's get her done. So, uh, yeah, it's so awesome. Good oh, thing. I might cry now. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, Pia. Good morning. Well done. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy today. This is happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm so glad at the end. <laughs> yeah. It's been a tough race. Humbling. I think that's possibly killed me again. <laughs>